Well, wearing a hat again. Let's do this. I'm going to get Brittany Parker. I'm going to get ready with my Saint Cream Foundation. I already put my cream and my SPF on. And here is my bright brush. And this is my Demi. I could tell you my colors, but Demi is pretty personal. Um, this whole system pretty, is pretty personal. So if you're interested, as you see me doing this, send me a bare face uh, selfie and I will totally color match you. No pressure, no cost. I just tell you what colors you want. So I started with my bright brush and my colors Y01, just in the darkest spots, just to get some of those dark under eyes. And now I'm going into the detail brush and my contour is indigo. And you can see usually the contour goes all the way up on your forehead don't waste your makeup. You totally do not need all that makeup on your forehead. My hat is covering. Now I do have to take it off a couple times. So I do kind of just do the sides of my forehead. Uh, but you can see there, I went along my jawline and a very just simple and quick contour of the nose. I mean, I'm a mama, I'm a teacher, I'm crazy. I have laundry behind me. At least it's folded. I mean, come on, I get some stars for that. Here is my 3D brush. I'm going into my new, um, it's the new Highlight Athens. If you are in between Sandy and Candlelit, Athens is a dream. It is so pretty and such a great shade. All right, so this is back to my detail brush and I'm going into White Peach. I use White Peach as a brightener for under my eyes because I have, that's a big problem area of mine. If you have big pores, uh, fine lines, wrinkles, do not go too light. You're just going to accentuate them. But the center of my face, I could handle a little bit brighter. So I actually put for size down the center of my face. And now I went back to the 3D brush and I am blending this out. I always start in my lighter areas. And after I blend, I kind of see if I need to add a little bit more either color correcting. This is me just using my finger and Athens, my main highlight. I always have some discoloration on my nose. Now I'm getting some of my blemishes. And you just tap it over. These creams are completely buildable coverage. All of them are. So you can kind of get the coverage that you want. If you want light and breezy, you could use a different soft brush and you just kind of uh, blend it on. If you want more full coverage, you're gonna tap it on, get a more dense brush. Here is a star. This is Bella Bronzer. Um, I put it on my cheeks, down my neck. This is the beautiful, was it Wildflower? It is wildflower. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, and this has been repeat wildflower. And then I top it with summer love. Look what a cute little lip that is. All right. Eyeshadow brush. This is chai. I'm just going into the great crease a little bit above. I'm like I said, I'm crazy. I'm racing to go to work. I need a hustle. I have all my kids to make sure their hair is done and all that. Um, and now this is cafe. I just kind of darkened the edges and the corners and I'm bringing it, flip my brush over underneath my eye, try to not stab my eyeball. Hello. And then tapping my finger onto angels landing. It's a bigger fleck, um, shimmer. If you are more mature and don't really like shimmers, maybe stay away with it and maybe try drift instead. This is my CoverGirl Ink It. I have had this, like I, I get stuck on something and I use it forever if it's great. So my Saint Makeup, I don't know if I will ever stop using it. I absolutely love it. This eyeliner, I love it. If you see, I always kind of take my finger and like fix my wing. And because it's like a really soft cream eyeliner, whoop, just like that, it like just makes a perfect little wing. Red Aspen, um, Pump It Up Maggie Mascara. This lengthens, curls, volumizes, it conditions. It's fantastic. But there it is. You can see with a, with a hat, you do not need to go all over on your forehead. And you're ready. Thanks.